But for more uh, on uh, him, we're joined by Okwemi Agbaje from RTC Advisory Services. Uh, let's uh, chat about uh, Mandela. First of all, how did you feel when you heard the news? I, I, I saw on TV last night on CNN a sudden breaking news about Mandela's death. And, and for me, we, yeah, we were kind of, no, we kind of knew it was imminent. But when it happened, what just came to my mind was that probably the greatest black man, probably the greatest African that ever lived over all periods of time mm. had just died. Definitely the most famous African there. Uh, what are some of the things that he did in his life that stands out for you? It, for me, he was the, the nobility of his character, the dignity, the, the, fact, the, the fact that at the end of 27 years in prison, he came out, he was so gracious towards those who put him in prison, mm. he was so forgiving, and the fact that after one term in office, he stepped aside. I agree. Every other nationalist leader in Africa who led the independence fight or led his nation to freedom, regarded it as their right to then be a life mm. president, mm. be a dictator, but Mandela just let it go. Will we ever have another Mandela in Africa? I hope we will. Um, one of the ironies of Africa and Nigeria, for instance, is that we talk in such lofty terms about Mandela, but we don't emulate his behavior not that much. I, I hope that with his passing, that message of, of trying to emulate Mandela, especially among the political class, mm -hmm. the leadership class in Africa, will sink in. Mm. What do you think our leaders need to learn specifically about his life? First, the, the fact that he understood that power was not about its sanctions and its brutal force and the wealth and privileges that came from it, but that power was influence. Power was the ability to influence a nation, and in his case, to influence the whole world. Mm. I want to ask you, what will you tell your, your, um, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren about this great man? I, I think it's simple. It's that th this was a gentleman who lived, who stayed in prison for 24, seven years, and who didn't lose his humanity, his generosity of spirit, his kindness, his graciousness, who came out absolutely not bitter with those who put him in prison, but who came out determined to turn his experience into a force for good in the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. What does he mean for Nigeria, though? I mean, we all sort of feel like we know Mandela so well. Mm -hmm. I mean, what does he specifically mean for Nigeria? Nigeria, the, the irony is that Nigeria played a strong role in the, in the independence struggle, in the freedom struggle, not just in South Africa, but in Zimbabwe, Mozambique, um, Namibia, Angola, all of the countries of Southern mm -hmm. Africa. Nigeria nationalized African petroleum in the 70s and made that point to the British. Nigeria was regarded as a frontline state, even though we were millions of miles away from the front lines of the war against apartheid. We, we did a lot, but we have not imbibed that lesson of leadership by example. So you don't think Mandela. we can have a Nigerian Nelson Mandela? I hope we will. I believe we will. I want to be, I want maybe one of the things we can learn from Mandela is positivity about mm. what is possible. Um, and so I believe that one child, one young person, one old man would be inspired by Mandela's mm. example. I mean, he lived such a simple life. Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting to see that, you know, with all the talk about him, we're not hearing about his financial wealth. No one really knows about his financial, you know, wealth and all that. It, it's, it's, it's really remarkable. That, so that, how can that, we... That's yeah. one of the things, lessons for Nigeria. And like I've said that, power is not in the privileges that come with it. Mm -hmm. It's not in the amount of money you can amass. It's not in terms of how much power you can show your opponents you can wield. It's about the example you set, mm. the uh, way you influence society, mm. the, the impact, the legacy that you leave in the hearts mm. of men. How do we fill the hole that he's left? Huh. I, I doubt that there will be another Mandela. Mm. I think that Mandela was one in, a, in an era, mm. not just in a generation, but in an era. Mm. I think Mandela has played his part. He's part of the touch on, and like he said in London last year, mm. It's not up to us. It's for us to find a new relevance, a new momentum, a new 
approach that, that we can then aim to leave an impact in our own individual lives. Mm, it's truly iconic leader. I mean, this is something he said, a leader is like a shepherd. He stays mm. behind the flock, letting the most nimble go ahead, mm. uh, where, whereby the others follow, not realizing all along that they're being directed from behind. So truly mm. remarkable. Let's leave great, it there. Thank you for joining man. us on this show.